This is project five of Hacking with Swift. The first four projects were designed to teach you the basics of iOS development while also giving you real world projects you can go away and enhance if you want to. But now you've sort of mastered the core tools of iOS development, it's time to move up a gear and try something a bit harder. In this project, you're going to learn how to make a word game that deals with anagrams. But as usual, I'll be using it to teach you more about iOS development. This time around, we're going back to the table views seen in project one, but you're also going to learn how to load text from files, how to ask for user input in UI alert controller, and get more insight to how closures work. As always, we have lots to get through, so let's go ahead and launch Xcode now. Make a new project choosing the usual iOS single view app template, then press next, call this thing project five, then press next and create. We're going to turn this thing into a table view controller, just like we did in project one. So open viewcontroller.swift, change the class inheritance from UI view controller to be UI table view controller instead. If you remember, that only changes the definition of our view controller in code. So open main.storyboard, delete the view controller, and place a new table view controller instead. Make sure you use the identity inspector to change the class of this from the default UI table view controller to be our view controller class. Go into the cell it's made for us in here and give that a reuse ID of word. Then change its style from custom to basic. Now select the view controller again, over here in the document outline or up here. Then make sure it has this box here, is initial view controller checked. And finally, go to the editor menu, choose embed in, navigation controller. Now here we won't be pushing anything onto the navigation controller stack like we did in project one, but we do get this automatic gray bar at the top with a navigation bar, which we will be using. You see in this app, we're going to ask users to make anagrams out of a word. So when given the word anagrams, they can provide rags. Now technically that's not an anagram because anagrams have to use all the letters in their source word. However, that's what we call a well actually. Go and Google that if you want to argue with me about anagrams.